Hello everyone. Right here we have a Simflux 4100 ES and it has a voice bay. Also IDNAC signaling. So the 4100 ES was uh, first produced in 2010 replacing the 4100U. And it maintains many of the same components though it adds adjustable signaling and many other new options. As you can see this panel has over 100 troubles on it. This hasn't been programmed yet. I need to get it programmed but in the meantime, I did want to give a quick look at this panel. So I just have a few strobes hooked up and 499 9000 port pole station. And the voice bay, I don't have speakers connected, so I'll just use a local speaker. So yeah, let's just, let's just sound it. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave by the nearest exit and report to your designated assembly area. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave by the nearest exit and report to your designated assembly area. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, Please leave by the nearest exit and report to your designated assembly area. Okay. Got audible silence in the strobe there. These lights are always on. The camera just doesn't like picking them up. Now this amber strobe is for all the mass notification messages over here. But since I don't have any speakers connected, um, none of them will sound kind of unfortunate. But once I get this program, this should be less of a problem. There we go. Mine is cleared. All right. So this panel is kind of unique in that. Its voice bay actually has custom messages on it. This whole 4100 ES was taken out of an Air Force base down in Florida. Um, according to the seller, it was taken out because they didn't want to pay JCI thousands of dollars to put in some speaker strobes. So this panel is fully functional. It was just taken out because of other reasons. I believe there's a Firelight ES200X in that area now, which is, say what you will about that. So this panel is actually pretty old. It's running on version two. The current uh, latest re revision is uh, version six. So yeah, in addition to being programmed, this also needs to be upgraded. Most of the troubles are just missing points and whatnot and some missing cards. Nothing that can't be removed with some programming. Now, the other reason why I haven't upgraded this panel yet is because these, cu these are custom messages. And unfortunately, this panel did not come with a backup job file containing these messages. And there's a high possibility that if this panel does get upgraded, those messages will be lost forever. So probably before this gets upgraded, I want to be able to take the messages out of the audio controller board, which is not that easy because it's a digital board, but I'll try and save them to uh, my computer or something before we upgrade. Now the amper strobe will flash for anything that is in fire. So if I turn that on, you'll see that the strobe starts flashing. Pretty cool. Turn that off. All right. Now let's take a quick look at the inside of this panel. Um, I moved some cards around since this was uh, taken out, but you get some basic parts here. So this here is the EPS power supply or the enhanced power supply. It's similar to the system power supply, except it has ID NAC loops instead of conventional NACs, and there's an ID NAC card attached to it. This card here with the flashing LEDs, that's the CPU. It's got a flash memory chip and everything. And here's a network card, which is not in use. This slot, I'm debating what to put here. I'm thinking of just putting an MX loop card in here. Since it's a simplex related protocol, and also I recently got some MX devices for the foundation series, and all the documentation I read on that, um, those devices should be compatible with the 4100 ES's MX cards. So something to keep in mind. And uh, here's the audio bay. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. There we go. 
All right, so this is the digital audio card. This stores all the messages and stuff. This is a zone relay card, which ironically my panel can't support because these only work on version three or higher. But that's that's kind of there for future use. It's also kind of broken. There's some bad relays on it, so I might get a new one. Down there, that's an aux audio input card that goes to the digital audio card. You can play music or stuff and it goes through the controller. It's pretty cool. Okay, now this big card here, this is a Flex 50 amplifier. 50 watt amplifier, output 70 VRMS. Though you can cut a resistor to do 25 VRMS. And it has a constant supervision uh, card on top. Um, yeah, so that will be the amplifier. This originally had a 100 watt amplifier across this, uh, this whole section. And then this card over here, this is a XPS or expansion power supply. Provides extra power for this bay. And also has three conventional signal circuits and an aux power. So what I'm thinking when I get this program is to have this programmed in, have the amp, XPS, have all that going on. I think this panel will be very, very nice once it actually gets programmed. Oh. And on the back here, there's your microphone well and LED switch controller. So once I get this program, I'm thinking, We'll have conventional zones, conventional signals, adjustable signals, adjustable devices, and voice evac. This will be a very feature-packed pad-on. This is one thing I do like about the 400ES has all these nice fun features. It may not be as reliable as say a 400 plus, but it's definitely a very fun panel. Um, if I can find one for cheap too, I can also get a touchscreen display, which would be really, really cool. Lots of wishful thinking, but yeah. I had this panel for a few months at this point, so we're going to make a quick video on it. If you have any questions or comments about the 4100ES, feel free to post them below. But until next time, this has been the 4100ES with the Voice Bay. Have a nice day.